Howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time to talk some Path of Exile and loot filters. It's fairly late in the Synthesis League, I made my loot filter at a point where I didn't know very much about what was going to be important in this league, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, redo the filter, and I'll do it with, um, I'll put a link to it below, but I'm going to go through and explain some of the choices that I make. So, my starting point is going to be using Uber Plus Strict as a loot filter. Now this uh, table that's provided by NeverSync, this is on the website filterblade.xyz. Uh, this table indicates how strict each filter is. Uh, so you go from soft, which is basically uh, shows everything, uh, through to regular, just whittles out a minority of items. Uh, strict, which is, uh, sorry, semi-strict, which is optimized for the chaos recipe. There'd be a whole other video in why I don't consider the chaos recipe even remotely close to worth your time doing, but um, just for, uh, except, you know, when you're very, very, very new to um, new to a league. As soon as you've got, uh, as soon as your net league wealth exceeds about 50 chaos orbs, I suggest you don't do the chaos recipe anymore, uh, except possibly to clear out that, uh, that prophecy that is related to the chaos recipe. And in that case, what you do is you just um, you just pick up one set and turn it in. So, anyways, it then goes through to very strict, which hides uh, low, very low currency and most um, most rare items. But uber strict plus is where I start. Uh, Never sinks own description. This shows too little with a sterile screen. The reason for this is that picking up small things takes time and deciding whether or not to go back uh, to pick up a small item takes time. This will hide mediocre divination cards. Uh, it will hide everything below alchemy orbs in uh, currency and is, as they say, that it's recommended for speed, speed clearing quantity parties or as a base for further editing. However, to be honest, at this point in the league, like once you've got a few exalts um, saved up, you're generally not going to find that you gain much out of the um, out of very small uh, currencies anyway. They just they do add up, but they don't add up to much. My strategy for acquiring uh, wisdom scrolls, portal scrolls, etc., for personal use, uh, and people have different approaches on this, but my first strategy for them is to just uh, whenever you have a loot explosion. This can be the end of a memory in Synthesis League, it can be at the end of an Elver incursion, anything like that where the game concentrates a whole lot of loot in one place, and the Delve Mine's particularly good for this. Uh, at that point, I will hold Alt to overrule my filter, and I will pick up those currencies. I find that I get enough that way. So, uh, in terms of common currency orbs, uh, there's been some economic shifts in this league, and so for that reason, I just want to make damn certain that the uh, common currency information when I go into customizing it, that the common currency uh, tab includes orbs of chance. Oh, sorry. So orbs of chance need to show. So we have exalts, uh, and let me just start by, ah, that's it. So auto sort by price. That's what, and um... now, that's uh, that start there. Auto sort by price uh, transfers everything into tiers, as you see here. So we have tier zero. I'm going to verify everything because I just hit the auto sort by price and then execute based upon league softcore prices. Uh, Mer of Calandra, Mer of Shard, Exalted Orb, Annulment, Ancient, Divine, Harbinger, and two things that should basically never drop. Uh, that is uh, correct. Everything in there is a top tier currency. No matter what I do, I want to uh, I want to immediately be alerted and stop what I'm doing, run back and pick up those items. Okay, our next tier is five to fifteen chaos. I'm actually going to put divine orbs in this tier. Uh, I'm not sure that fifteen is is uh, the correct cutoff, but I'm going to put divine orbs in the same tier as exalted shards and current market data. Uh, that could change. I may actually be wrong in that, but um, this is still quite an intrusive, um, quite an intrusive sound effect. You can hear it there. It stands out. It jumps out at you. You care about it. Now, um, musk photographer sexes are not in three, three to five chaos at the moment. Uh, but I'm going to put a cup. I'm going to split up the items a little bit more. Where's my? Um, 
Ancient Shard, Ancient Shard, Ancient Shard. That's interesting. Where are Ancient Shards at the moment? Ancient Shards can drop because I often run maps with... Um, I often do run maps with the Harbinger mod on it. To make, this is one of the reasons I always check everything uh, because there can be mistakes made in, um, in filter programs. In any case, um, I'm going to put... Current, I'm going to basically set this to be things that are around the 2 Chaos Orb mark. So we have Val Orbs, Scours, Regals, GCPs, Chaos Stack Decks, which are rare drops. Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, this Annulment Shard 2.5, I don't think that's actually correct, but it's close enough. Um, I'm missing Ancient Shards, and there may be a section of um, Obscure Currencies. Now, very important. Uh, some of these so-called tier 5 currencies have uh, changed around in price a lot. Uh, chance Orbs, they drop a lot, they're worth something. Alchemy Orbs, uh, Fusings, just looking to make certain blessings I don't need. And Silver Coins, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to have a slightly lower cutoff. Uh, it's not going to be 0 0.3, it'll be a little bit lower. But I'm going to have these be Silent Drops. And let's just uh, no sound that. And I don't actually want them to have a map icon either. This is something I'm very happy to pick these these items up, but I don't want them jumping out at me. So that's the um, that's the plan there. Now we get to the absolute trash um, currency, uh, Parandus coins. However, I'm going to make an exception for those. Why Parandus coins? Because they drop in big clusters. That's the reason that I'm putting them, um, putting them somewhere else. Yep, don't care about them. Don't care about anything there. Don't care about anything there. Okay, so what we've got here is we have noticed that we are missing, uh, we're missing the other shards for the Harbinger items. I think there is a section later in filter customization. That is called uh, that is called something like um, exotic currency. Uh, so I'll fix them up there. Unique items uh, I don't know anywhere near as much as Neversync does on these. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to trust him on all of the decisions he's made with them. Divination cards. Uh, now, firstly, I'm going to have the um, I'm going to have it auto sort by price for me first. And then I'm going to go through and just make sure that nothing's missing. So if I have a quick look through here, uh, I don't necessarily know every single one of these uh, divination cards. I'm just going to have a read. What is the risk? Actually, can't remember what that card is. But anyways, uh, these are the these are the strong, high-value divination cards. I'm going to trust that everything is right. I'm just looking up a couple of um, more unusual cards that don't often see. Seven years bad luck is there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. These will drop with an exalt sound. I'm happy to see that. Uh, now, so this is the second tier of K of them. Yep, that's all fine. Uh, third tier. Chaotic disposition straddles the end here. It's um, it's a silly card because it's basically five chaos orbs, but um, it ends up being in the wrong spot sometimes. So tier two. Yep, that's all fine. It's, um, some of the divination cards that you'll find, you get you that you get a bit. Now, tier four currency cards. This is the lower value currency cards that are uh, still worth something. So they drop a currency orb. Now, um, tier three is worth between that and any unlisted or unknown. Unlisted, unknown, maybe maybe tricky. Uh, I'm actually going to, I'm thinking on these, I'm going to make these show. I make these items show, partly because a number of these will sell in big quantities, and also in case someone has paid, played a game of Funny Buggers with the, um, with the PoE.Ninja uh, economy aggregation data, I don't want to hide things from here. Now the lowest value currency cards, I'm going to let those all hide away, and let's just have a quick look here. Uh, in terms of the low value cards, there's a couple of them that are very high drop rates that I often will uh, want to see. So, 
First one, um, her mask. Her mask, I want to see it. I don't want it to be shouted out, hey, you've got a her mask drop, but I do want to see that card. Um, a mother's parting gift is another. And I'm just going to have a look through. Is there anything else? A lot of these cards are designed with solo self found players in mind, and so that's where they show up. Oh, there it is. Now, the reason I want a mother's parting gift showing this is a uh, this is a uh, divination card set that trades in for the dexterity to intelligence uh, trans uh, stat transformation jewel. That is called Fertile Mind. That jewel, and Fertile Mind gives you uh, I think it's uh, sixteen to twenty four intelligence on the jewel and passives within the target area that modify dexterity are instead applied to intelligence. This jewel isn't particularly valuable unless it is a perfectly divined one, but if you get a 24, a perfect implicit on it, uh, it will very, very easily sell for 20 to 25 Chaos Orbs. For that reason, I feel that card is worth picking up. Uh, just having a quick look, Shard of Fate, I believe... Uh, I'm not going to bother with it. It's a, jewel, it's a jewel one, but I can't think what it is. I'm not running any maps that it drops in anyway. Um... Volatile Power is a card that I like. Um, just it's the level twenty-one corrupted gem. Uh, I've had some big hits on that in the past. And okay, so that is looking good. I just want to check the status of Arrogance of the Val. My ah, oh, yep, there it is. It is in tier two. Good, good, good. Okay, so they're the changes I want to make there. Um, pretty happy with those so far. Now, let's have a look at the Synthesis Fractured Items. Uh, these need major changing. Uh, basically, what I want to do here is have a situation where Fractured Items are um, where they're generally uh, deprioritized unless they're item level 82 or higher. Now, the exception will be if you're in a boss zone. If you're in a boss zone, you're going to want to um, pick them all up anyway. So Neversink's initial approach, and this is when he um, when he started without knowing anything about what was going to be involved in synthesis mechanics. Uh, he split them by sizes. Uh, I don't generally agree with that um, with that decision. I think the first thing to say is that some of the um, that some of the items are extremely extremely um, potent. And what we want to do is actually see if I can figure out how to get rid of these rules entirely. Um, no, I don't want to reset fractured items. I don't want to return it to what it started as. I think if I just unselect everything so that it becomes basically a blank rule. Yeah, now I can disable the rule. Great, that's what I want. Now, I'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to disable this rule. And then I'm going to create my own rules here for what, what to show and why. And I'll go through that. If you've watched my video on um, appraising these items, uh, you'll have a bit of a sense of what I'm doing. But now it's time to create some custom rules. Firstly, class, boots. Um, accepts any base type. And item level is greater than or equal to 86. These are... So, oops. Okay, every boot, set of boots that is an item level 86 is a monster drop. So let's have the exalt sound. Now, how do I get this to work? I can't remember which number it is for exalts. Okay, that's my divine orb sound. That's not the one that I wanted. Uh, let's try sound two. It'll be one of these. That's a lesser one. No, that's not it. That's a map sound. That's a high tier map. I thought it was six. Yeah, there it is, six. That's what we want. Okay, so now we're going to have the text jump out at you. 
we want to really make clear that this is a monumental item, one that you really want to pick up, uh, highest level of highlighting possible, which is going to look something like this. Uh, this jumps out at you, can't miss it, and we are going to have a star. And we're going to change the color on that. Uh, we're going to have a beam. Why is this white? We don't want this to be white. We want this to be something striking. Uh, yellow is not striking. Blue is not striking. Green is not striking. It will be red. Okay. So this is our boots. This is our starting point. 86 plus boots. Uh, we always, always, always want to pick these up uh, if they're fractured. Um, even if they're not sorcerer boots. Now, our next rule is going to be top energy shield bases. Can I rename this rule or not? No, I can't. Okay, so we are going to go, except all base types, Val Regalia, add. We want Titanium Spirit Shield, add. We want to have a... Um, and also Champion Kite Shields. I'll explain why later, but there's, um, even though champion kite shields aren't normally a base people care that much about, but they're the, there's a reason for them, and that is that they are the highest uh, strength, they're the highest uh, energy shield armor that, that still has a strength requirement on it. Uh, that's important because they can roll a bunch of mods that you can't get on, um, on pure intelligence ones. Sorcerer boots add sorcerer gloves. Hubris circlet. Now, these actually can be very good even with a low item level. All these need is to be rare, and they are worth our while um, picking up. So, what we're going to do is we are going to um, add, select an item. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Boots, body armors, and shields. Okay, so we're also then. Oh no, we'll make another one for uh, for the ones that include all of the rings. Uh, these I want to sound on. I'm keen to pick these up. Uh, these bases up, uh, basically, no matter what the um, no matter what the item level is. So just looking for something that's striking but not quite as intrusive as the uh, as the glorious looking white ones were before. Uh, let's go for this with not quite full. No, that looks horrible. Let's try one of these bright green. Um, perhaps zero. Zero, 128 might... I don't actually think that picked the right... Oh yeah, that's the colour I was asked after. That's hideous too. Why don't we just... Yeah, that works. That's um, garish and ugly and hideous and probably exactly what we want as a result. And let's give these a sound, which is... No, let's not have the Chaos Orb sound. We want something better. We'll have the My Divine Orb sound. And this is... What colour did we apply? We'll use the same colour. Red. Red does stand out a lot. Um, so... Oh, hang on. I just... I do want the beam on, and I want this to be... Red. Okay, so that is my tier, uh, that is my top tier energy shield uh, base effect. And next up, we're going to add another custom rule, which is going to be for amulets and rings that are... Uh, am, let me just think if there's anything else that uh, fits in this category. Amulets, rings, jewels. These, I believe, are pretty much always worth picking up, um, no matter the... No matter the um, item level, so I'm going to also mirror the previous um, previous look on that. So that was red with red text. Choose background um, background of where were we? It's just there, isn't it? Uh, this is a hexadecimal code, so. 127 is probably the right one. Oh no. 127. I think that's right. And I just put it in the wrong spot. That was. Um...
Oh, anyway, we'll just get this garish green. Garish green full. Uh, uh, zero, that's right. And we will put a, back, a black background on it. Choose that. Okay, so this is again uh, going to be dropping with a red thing. Uh, it'll have a sound. I want that to have sound for t num uh, number one. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, so that's our um, that's our next section. Now our, f our next rule that we're going to add is that uh, so that's. All of our um, all of our rings, all of our jewels, all of our amulets. I'm just making certain that there's nothing else that's um, critically important there, and there isn't. So our next rule after that is going to be to add in. Uh, this is a catch-all. It's going to be a catch-all for all of the rest of them that are of any item level at all. Uh, we're just going to have them show up like this. So you'll see them. Uh, except I'm going to make them smaller. I want to know that they're there. I don't want to particularly have them sh screaming at me. Synthesized items. They don't drop in normal gameplay. If they do, something special has happened. Therefore, I want to know about it. Um, so I'm going to leave them as is. Now, maps. There is something that I really want to, um, I really want to change on there, which is this um, out-leveling of maps. I want to always see all map drops. Uh, reason being that there's just occasionally times that you want low tier maps. Someone will be running a, um, someone will, you know, post in a trade channel that they want to buy a complete set of maps and things like that. Uh, it's good to have everything. Highlight and hide specific maps. I'm pretty happy in the current economy with how uh, maps are showing up in general. Uh, just gonna have a quick look at the fragments. So fragments tier one, yep, that's good. Fragments tier two, I'll trust you that you're right on that. Uh, tier three, yep, that seems good. And unique maps are uh, going to be, yeah, all the good ones are showing up. Uh, all the lesser ones, I do see them all. That's good. That's what I want. Okay, flasks. Um, I believe nothing will show except maybe uh, except for uniques. Special bases and rules. I had earlier modified this to show all of the um, all of the atlas bases. I no longer want that to be the case. Okay, uh, generally speaking, I don't want any special rules on high-level bases, uh, handpicked bases, and the like. Uh, Shaper and elder items. I'm going to go with uh, Never Sinks default here because it shows you the things you care about. Uh, you will not see Shaper and Elder items unless they are intrinsically valuable as bases. Betrayal. Uh, yes, Veiled Mods. Everything with Veiled Mods shows. Uh, Scarabs. I really want to figure out a way to change this, but I can't. I want um, the Scarabs to more accurately reflect the current, um, to reflect the current setup, but that's uh, something I can't do for now. Delve. Uh, let's just go through here. Reliquary. Oh, of course. They don't drop anymore, but they can't really be removed. Fossils. Uh, let's let's auto-sort by price. Execute that. And now, dense fossils. Are, um, where, what do we got here? All the rare fossils plus... Uh, well, all the good rare fossils, no tangled, plus sanctified are in tier 1. Tier 2, enchanted, dense... Shuddering, Gilded, Tangled, Prismatic. Yep, that's all good. Now, um, very important. I do want to show these, and they are showing. That's good. Can we just have a, um, a moment's silence for Tangled Fossils? They're as rare as the top tier ones. They're just so bad that no one ever, um, no one ever cares about them. Abyss League, I'm going to leave that as it is. Breach stuff, I'm going to leave as it is, um, except to just check. Do we have um, complete breach stones showing? I'm not actually sure how it handles complete breach stones, but uh, I have had them drop. I've had charged breach stones drop, and they were fine. Um, okay, Stone of Passage vials, mods, yep, that's all good. Um, prophecies, uh, let me just check to see. 
I will get it to show... Yeah, it's showing all of the prophecies. That's good. Um, other leagues. Parandus coins. I want these to always show. So, let's um, we'll show the item is matched by this rule. Yep, that's good. Harbinger currency. And yes, that's that's what we want to see there. Okay, that's all looking good. So, leveling, I don't care because I'm already at endgame. And I've got enough um, enough currency that I don't really care. Six linked body armors, yep. Six linked items, yep. Five linked items are all removed, excellent. Five linked uniques will show, yeah, that's cool. They're um, six linked uniques. The um, something extremely rare. To, I've never seen a six link unique drop. I've had two six links drop this league, though, as... Natural six links. Uh, going to going to trust that these are um, that these are all correct. And okay, so that looks as simple as as that. There, um, that's everything customized. Now, very important that I always check uh, that I haven't screwed up because screwing up is something I am very capable of doing. All the binding is concealed there. Um, I. They just don't drop often enough for me to bother fixing that. You'll see Orb of Chance and Silver Coin showing up there. Uh, Cartographer's Chisel showing up. Um, you get some weird stuff that drops in here, unfortunately. It's not not really fixable. Generate loot. Opal Ring with... Uh, is that... Sh no, that's just an Opal Ring. Crystal Belt. Infested Valley. One thing you'll notice is that uh, a number of items are larger in the background and a number are smaller. The ones that are larger are things that you might want to uh, occasionally hold alt to, to be able to see. So we're just going to run a few more simulations here. Um, everything seems to be looking fine so far. That Vanguard belt was, um, oh, yeah, I guess level 86 has got some potential. I thought I just saw a um, chance orb not showing. I want to make sure that that's... I'm just going to keep going until I see a chance orb, uh, at which point I'll ensure that they are showing. I believe I can change that to only show... Um, only show these orb of chance good no I was wrong I was wrong I saw something else so okay that's the um, that's the filter set up um, style can be changed advanced has um, I'm just trying to remember if there's anything here that was particularly important no there's not okay so that is going to be the filter as I use it now um, I'm gonna call this so go uber strict plus uh, and then I'm going to date stamp it with today, which is 28 of April. So this is moderate changes to Uber plus strict. Filter, make this public, publish the save. Alrighty. Now, I've got a link to this filter, which I will put in the uh, video description. So just a summary. I've gone through all of... Um, all of the loot filter information that's, uh, uh, that you can modify with the um, NeverSync's amazing tool, filterblade.xyz, and I have gone through it all, uh, changed things in accordance, uh, mostly in the synthesized items, so that the synthesized items, uh, so the fractured items, show up with a higher priority if they are extremely good, uh, whilst also then going through and um, deprioritizing some of the ones that are less impressed, that are less certain to be of high value. Um, I only recommend this filter if you are someone that is solidly, solidly into endgame. As a prerequisite to using this, because it will be hiding a lot of small currencies, I would suggest that you already have uh, a few exalts uh, saved up and you've already run at least a couple of dozen upper tier red maps so you know we're talking 14 and up if you're at the point that you've done that then this filter may be worth considering but also uh, mess around in filterblade.xyz you can certainly uh, make some make some changes to it you'll then be able to download it and then as you see there it'll be saved uh, locally to your computer 
you then need to follow this procedure to finish it. If you've got any questions about the filter, uh, let me know. Otherwise, have a good one.